This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. It's the middle of winter here, which seems a really strange time to be breeding. But that's what the gray seals are doing. Arrive in summertime, and you'll find harbor seals, a smaller, less aggressive version of the gray seals of winter. Don Bowen from Canada's Department of Fisheries and Oceans and Sarah Iverson with Dalhousie University have been studying both seals for 20 years. Gray seal population has exploded over the last 40 years. And at the same time, the harbor seal population has absolutely taken a dive such that only two to maybe 10 pups are born here each year. There are also sharks here, and one of their favorite foods is seal. The scientists also suspect that the harbor seals face competition for food resources, and they have brought in Critter Cam to find out. We simply don't know whether uh, harbor seals and gray seals use the same tactics to catch the same kinds of prey, or whether they go about it in very different ways. after netting their first gray seal. The team administers an anesthetic. 130 and 128. Then the animal is weighed and measured. A fast setting epoxy is applied to the netting that holds the critter cam. Seals shed their coat every spring, so the epoxy will soon be gone. The next day, the crew attaches a second critter cam to another seal. And then they wait, in this case, for four days. I hear a signal. Oh, excellent. Camera's off, camera's off. Before they have the chance to view the first tape, word comes that the second seal and his camera are back on the beach. Cut the netting all the way around the mount. One red BD. Excellent. Some of the tape has been damaged by the deep freeze. And one of the recorders in the second camera just froze up. But the crew still manages to retrieve two hours of tape. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The critter cam evidence is in, and part of the mystery of Sable Island may be solved. The larger gray seals do indeed feed on the same fish as their smaller cousins, a fish called a sand lance. Just oh, oh yeah, 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 that was a sandlet. That was yeah. a sandlet. That's so nice to live Yeah. You guys, this Find is the forward. first, mm. the first filming of any foraging that we've ever gotten on Grace. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So cool. Isn't that cool? Wow, it's amazing. Mm. Look at how he just pushes that substrate away. What the crew also notices is that the gray seals hunt differently than the less fortunate harbor seals. The gray seals forage along the bottom for their prey instead of hunting in the fish schools. Don Bowen thinks that maybe between the shark attacks and the competition from gray seals, the smaller harbor seals may have to find another place to breed. Harsh reality in an equally harsh environment. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station.
sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.